This is irrational treasure. We must find the secret to Pacifica Northwest. He was great, great granddaddy. Quite silly as well, so it kind of works. <laughs> this uh, is a mystery that must be solved. Uh, must be solved. Um, let's drive. Uh, let's drive. Okay. The rest of this is gonna all be done in Nicolas Cage voice. Uh, no, I will not do that. Uh, now with the voice waiter. I would like to nominate a series of babies uh, to the <laughs> Supreme Court. <laughs> Take off your pants! Um, the depantsification proclamation. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, so the code in this one was the uh, Latin phrase for out of many, uh, Trembly. Is that his name, Trembly? I think so, the yeah. president, yeah. Um, and uh, The third Esquire. Yes. The silliest president we ever had, which given our presidents, that's saying a lot. Um, I was going to say, I still think we've had sillier. Yeah. But I love the... Uh, the ending with the Supreme Court babies, where it's like, it's, 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 dark it's, day. It's, a, it's a dark day for America, and I'm just sitting there, I'm like, it's still better than Congress. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'd take the babies. Um, so, pretty much, uh, the Pioneer Day is going on, Gravity Falls, and uh, Mabel feels bad because Pacifica outs her as being silly, and she feels really bad, so she... I, Pacifica makes fun of her nacho earrings, even though if you look, she has earrings very similar, <laughs> which kind of cracked me they're up. They're giant purple arrowheads. Yeah, they're, they're, they're giant purple, pretty much triangles again. Um, no, arrowheads. Okay, whatever. That's not a perfect triangle. Okay, with, with a little... They're a little, they're a little rounded, they have a base, they... Weren't you ever in Cub Scouts or something? No. Chuck no. Norris said I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, I never listened to Chuck Norris. Ah, <laughs> but it's uh, so you have Mabel says she doesn't want to feel silly and, and wants to be taken seriously, so she tries to. Uh, she takes off the sweater, which, as you said, she I, feels I naked. Sa I, yeah, I sat there. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, who is that? Like, without the sweater, I was just like, oh my god, that's just like, it's not the same character. That's how you know you've got good character design. Yeah, when the. When she put it back on, I'm like, oh, Mabel, where did you come from? <laughs> um, and uh, so they want to. They, the book says that there's this conspiracy that the founder of Gravity Falls related to Pacifica, and actually isn't the founder. So. Mabel tries to be serious, but through a lot of her silly actions, actually leads to discovering this conspiracy that a lot of people who try to be very serious can't. And it turns out there is an 18th and a half president that was a cover-up because he was very, very silly and married woodpeckers and so on and so forth. Um, although I guess that was just Gravity Falls in general. That wasn't even him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... I think that was just part of the town's bylaws in the early days yeah. or something, so... Um, and... Uh, and the two cops who, as Family Guy put it, the evidence was really piling up. Um, I, uh... <laughs> it, yeah. They, they only the, get funnier first, and funnier with what it. What was it? If being delightful was a crime, I'd, you'd be I'd under to, arrest Yeah, I'd have to lock you up or yeah, something like I'd that. Yeah, throw away the key, and then when he comes in, he's just like, we don't have any pink balloons. I'm oh, then why did we come here? I'm like... Okay. And then they go on vacation together and stuff. They're they're delightful. <laughs> they're they're a lot of fun. What was it when the when what was his name? Blubs? Is that his name? Oh what the uh, the black cop. Oh I, I forget black his cop. name. When, but, yeah. when he has to when he has to take a knee, like what what did they say there? He's like, Is there anything I can get for you, sir? And uh, just being around you is delightful. Yeah, that, you know, something <laughs> something like that. That's like what all their lines are like. It, it's very much the Lenny and Carl uh relationship, I think, except they just gave it no time more to bloom. Burn. I think it's I think it's right more Burns it. and Smithers at this point. <laughs> well no, because Smithers knows I think they're still like they're either in denial or they're just so experimenting. No, they're so fascinated where it's gonna go. They're like, let, let, let's just let it play out and discover. Uh, but it's it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, uh. <laughs> it's. Uh, you know what? I I hope they discover what it is they want and they're very happy. I I, I think they're already very happy, and uh, what they'll discover will just make them happier. So. Um, no problem. Open up Preach. a brand new world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll make friendship bracelets. And just the image of them on the train, like in the Hawaiian shirts. Like, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> really Wait, are you going to kill us? What? No, no, no. It's okay. Calm it's down. okay. Calm it's down. okay. Um, 
So they, they discover this conspiracy and uh, Mabel feels good because she had to be silly to do it. And she's like, I have nothing to prove. I, I've proven to myself already. And Tipper says, no, fuck that shit and goes. And Best throws. line ever. Wow, revenge is really underrated. That felt great. Yeah, and, and, and proves it. Which again, kind of like the last one, it, it plays with the not necessarily the moral, although I guess it does a little bit, but... Uh, <laughs> a place with the delivery of it a touch because it's like because Mabel still is. Well, she no, obviously I don't, I don't has the revenge. right moral. Dipper doesn't, but yeah. life works like that sometimes. You know what? Let someone else do your dirty work. <laughs> yeah. So it's. But I, I like that she didn't need it. It's not like you know. No, no. Dipper, go do this. It's like a loophole. It's like no, no. She's actually very legitly happy. Um, and then the president flies backwards onto a horse and rides him off backwards and that might be a very mabel silly heavy episode and that's why it's did you say mabel like she's a ship (laughs) mabel onto the mabel (laughs) um mabel mabel okay (laughs) mabel there you go it's a very (laughs) mabel heavy episode which is awesome (laughs) um Honestly, I I like when it's focused... I think seeing a number of episodes, I like it best when it's focused on the mystery of the town or <clears throat> those... or Grunkle Stan and Mabel, Dipper, Zeus. So Not pretty much anyone in the show. Uh, no, because I'm neglecting to mention Wendy and her idiot friends. Like, <laughs> whenever the story seems to focus on them, that's where I start to tune out a bit. And I'm like, it's still very funny, but I'm just, like, not as into it. Like, this episode, I was all over. And the previous episode, I'm like, that was okay. Well, I like, think, and, and part of that is because whenever she's involved, it's always, oh, will Dipper tell her, will, and, you know, that stuff's always like, okay, let's stretch this out a little bit more. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of those, um... But, you know, they lead to some good comedy, you know, and... uh... Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just... Even when you have a great show, there's great episodes and good episodes. Yeah. And the Wendy-based episodes seem to be good, and these other episodes seem to be great. No, like, I really, I'll, I really I'll do... I'll take a Mabel-centered episode any day. Oh, yeah, like, Particularly too. if it was like this. I, I, do lo- I do love the one where they go into the convenience store and it's haunted, though. That was knows. good. Yeah, I, I, I do But like I think that, that, that had more of the mystery element to it. Like, the last one was just a party. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm trying to think of... Uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff for this one. What I love about the show is how silly it is. Yeah, it, it is just a... Oh, you know what? I might say something Salvador Dali said. There's some line of his that he's just like, you know, the world just doesn't have enough silly. Like, you just... And it's, like, true. It's, like, just a show like this just is so right up my alley. And I think that's why I like Mabel, because, yeah, she's silly, but she did inadvertently end up solving everything. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I really like the idea they show, you know, not just the fun of silly, but kind of the importance of silly. You know, silly is very important. Um, Thinking out of the box is what got them to solve the Yeah, th- there is a, a, a lot Dipper of, like... Dipper would have listed everything. Well, no, that was my favorite moment. She's like, look, I made a hat! And he's like, wow, you made a hat that points to location. And I was going to burn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. If we light it on fire, maybe the secret ink will show. Um, and no, I, I like... Uh, and that is a good moral, and that's not... It's not one you see too many times in kids shows that's like, you know, is silly is good, you know, and it can actually lead to some great minds. A lot of the great minds, you know, have these very silly, funny, eccentric parts to them, and it, it can show how useful that is. Um, I, it, and they say very often, like, if you're stuck on something, whatever it is, you know, just go relax, go for a walk, do something silly, watch a show or whatever, and sometimes it'll just come to you. And I think that's a part of it is that when you're silly, you're relaxed. You know, when you're being goofy and whatever, you don't care, you're relaxed and you think better when you're relaxed. And hey, um, it lets you become a congressman. Yeah, apparently. um, Who can legalize anything. Yes, I'm legalizing everything. (laughs) You realize if she legalizes everything, then technically twincest is legal. Oh, you haven't heard of that? I'm... I, I have never heard the term, no. I can guess what it is. Uh, type Gravity Falls Twincest at Google and see what you oh! get. Oh! <laughs> I, I, I thought you were just sick. I mean, you are, but whoa! 
God. That's like the one meme you saw where it, it just shows Wendy shouting, why does everyone rule 34 me? Yeah. <laughs> it was a meme. It was something like, why is everybody complains about my character yet rule 34 is me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, uh, type that in and see what you get. That, well, I'm so glad you discovered that. And I that did, hey, I didn't discover it. My it. lovely, lovely fans discovered it for oh, me. Well, 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 thank you, lovely, lovely. But you, you have they, lovely, lovely fans. I do. Know. Lovely, lovely twin obsessed. Uh, 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 open open yeah. this up to a, a whole new Actually, world. Actually, it was presented. Okay, not only are they twins, but they're little freaking kids. I knew it. I knew it was going to break fuck? you. I, but you know what? I promised my fans I was going to do this to you. <laughs> This was so worth it. Why? I was like, the reaction? What is wrong with you, internet? Even Wendy, the more I think yes! about it, is like 15. Yes! That's kind of sick, too, the more I think about it. It's, it's like... You want to know what the funny thing is, though? They present, like, they told me about this as a warning. Oh, you're into this show, though? You're going to do really great. Warning! Don't look up Twincest. Like, did it, and like, well, they were it's like, now this, we have to. Well, yeah. it, they were just like, I, I don't, I'm not looking at it. I don't need to see that. Okay. The mental image, the fact that this fucking exists is enough but for they, me. But they, they kept, they kept telling me, it was like, you just, oh my God. It's so, and I just like, finally I tell them, I'm like, I, I come from an anime background. Hey, there is possible. There is nothing you can scare me. I, I love when we say anime nothing. background. It sounds like you were raised by anime people or something. Like you it's, know. Well, it's kind of like that. Like <laughs> I was raised literally by tentacles. <laughs> so there is nothing, nothing. How dare you talk about our parents that way? What is wrong with you? When did this vlog go so dark? Wait, your parents were in Cthulhu. Oh my God, you were adopted. And the running joke continues. But will it have an end? Like Gravity Falls has an end. A lot of triangles in this episode. Mm. And legalization of twincest. What is wrong with you?